Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly, and today we are going to be looking at another tutorial. But before I begin off, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It will bring you some good luck in your forthcoming exams. Ended on the product life cycle. And uh, with the product life cycle, this is the process a product undergoes from the time it, it is introduced to the market to the period it's uh, eventually withdrawn from the market. And uh, with that, the product life cycle is uh, always divided into five major phases. Uh, that is the product development, introduction, growth, maturity, and then the decline. With the product uh, development, we shall look at it uh, furthermore as our next subheading. Uh, basically, today we are going to talk about major in the introduction, growth, maturity, and the decline. And uh, what you should know that not all products go through the same uh, product life cycle. That's why you, you find questions talking about the abnormal products, see, meaning that all products won't go through the same product life cycle. So I'll be moving to the... Uh, just to, to hint briefly, before I move to introduction, I'll hint briefly on product development. Product development, basically, it's like... Uh, um it's like uh having the product having the product and it's already manufactured so what happens to it after it's uh it has been manufactured that's what we are going to look at from there that's where we're going to have our product life cycle after a product has been turned into a finished good or it has been developed what happens to it the product life cycle now with product life cycle the lecturer had uh, given us a simple way of understanding it more in a layman's way whereby he said you can take an aspect of uh, maybe when you're in a relationship you're having the introduction the growth the maturity decline and for the development uh, development uh, the product development it's whereby two people already produced and they're the products so when they come into a relationship, uh, that's when they're introducing their names, that is with the introduction stage. Then for the growth, I look at the situation where by in a relationship and I giving themselves gifts who are trying to uh, make their relationship grow. Then maturity are just ma maintaining their relationship. Then depreciation, that's where, I mean, uh, the decline stage, that's when uh, uh, the woman has produced kids and she has maybe declined that's what the lecturer said they are not my words then um uh, furthermore you can uh when you are talking about the introduction growth maturity and decline stage you have to know that you have to at least talk about some eight aspects that is sales costs profits uh the marketing objective the product price and then the distribution then also the advertising so once you handle those eight aspects in all the th the four the four stages then you will be good to go for the introduction i mean for the product development which are we are going to look at it uh next time then i'm going to begin with the introduction introduction stage with the introduction stage um we are having sales and the sales there are low sales because uh there's limited awareness then we are having costs here if the product has no or oh, it has okay it's having few competitors then uh uh scheming price strategies employed meaning that you will charge the customers highly so the cost uh that's why they're saying high cost per customer then the profits i told you profits in it is in negative basing from our graph then uh, we're having the marketing objectives whereby uh, it's to do with, to create product awareness to the customers. Then uh, the product itself, uh, it will be just uh, being promoted. So you can just offer the basic product, that true product, it's just being promoted. Then the price, uh, the price, it will be just cost plus, whereby from the from the costs you incurred in producing this product you just add something on top of that to come up with the price then the distribution you will be selective in your distribution you won't distribute anyhow 
cause the product is yeah, just introducing it then uh, advertising it will just create a uh, awareness to the early adopters and even the dealers these people are going to market or distribute your product more that is to do with the introduction stage the growth you basically look at uh, particular things rising whereby the with the sales sales will be rising then uh, it will bring in an aspect whereby uh, since the sales are rising you will have to uh, give the customers an average cost because uh, that's when uh, you will also be able to raise your sales by at least giving them a lenient price then for the profits profits will be rising and they'll be raising from the many sales you're making yeah? profits then uh, you're having the market objective the market objective will be to maximize the market share whereby it will be through giving uh, the product extension service and warranty that's why that, that that will be the aspect to do with the product then moving to the price uh price it will be you'll be just having a price that will penetrate the market like a favorable price meaning that uh, you may be the, uh, decide to give them an average price at which they should buy their your your, your products then having the distribution whereby uh, you should build the intensive distribution whereby you should make sure you're having so many outlets which, uh, which are going to distribute your products that is with the growth stage then advertising here you build uh awareness and uh, interest in the mass market yeah yeah so your advertising should be a lot you should do a lot of advertising at the growth stage uh then we're having the maturity now with the maturity stage here all your potential customers have been covered you have reached the point you have covered all the potential customers that are supposed that are supposed to buy your products and you can no longer attract any more customers here what happens to the sales so the sales they have reached at the at their peak then the costs are uh, having a uh, low cost you start charging low costs because you know you want to keep yourself uh, competitive and uh, because they have I reached your maximum and you have covered all the potential customers then you're having profits profits are high you look at uh, at least making the last profits maybe if, before you uh you get you 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 are kicked out of business then uh m marketing objective the marketing objective here it is to maximize profit while defending your market uh, share now here it will be like what you uh, you're supposed to maximize from what you have and uh you should maximize profits from the uh the customers they hope from the potential customers you have gained then um product for the product you create uh diverse uh, uh like maybe you get to have different models of the product different brands so that you will keep yourself competitive from those uh from the market share you you would have obtained then uh, we're having the price uh, here now with the price there will be price wars and intensive competition that means that if i told you your, your your competitor is uh, charging the same product and is having a lower price that means you have to also come come down and you get to charge the same price or a slightly lower price so that you can stay competitive otherwise your the customers will opt for your for, for will go to your competitor then distribution the distribution is to do you build more intensive distribution now here uh still you you do it will be with the same as uh growth but this time round you make sure that at least if you have reached maturity you make sure nothing is left in stock yeah you you do an extra you do an extra compared to the growth stage so you distribute all these products to different outlays different dealers so that they can sell these products when you have reached maturity so that you are left with nothing in stock then you're having advertising advertising uh, you maybe stress the benefits yeah? you go on giving now details of the products you stress more on the brand differences why this is different you bring in the benefits so that you you know you make you you 
create that uh, you create something that is going to enable customers to buy these products because you're no longer getting new customers so you must stress these uh, potential customers to buy something from what you have so that at least you get to know that uh, because all, uh, at the end of the day your objective is to maximize profits yeah uh, while defending that market share the one you're already having then when you come at decline stage now here the sales have already declined even the co the cost the you're going to charge your customer you're going you're not going to overcharge your customer so that will be low cost per customer profits are also declining market objective here yeah, it is just to reduce uh to reduce expenditure maybe in the in the distribution when you're taking the product to the other uh, distribution channel you reduce all that yeah? make sure you reduce all the expenditures and at least uh, you get to milk the brand uh then uh, you're having the product here the product is uh it's phasing out and uh you spot the weak items you just uh, phase out weak items then uh, the price it, obviously you have to cut the price then uh, we have in distribution uh, you go selective and you, you are going to go selective because uh, since the product uh, you have phased out some products and also the so different outlets will not be making uh the sales you would want so you phase out all those unprofitable outlets so you just use only the profitable outlets to sell out the maybe the remaining what products then um uh, we are there's advertising so here you just reduce your advertising and then uh, you, you just only remain with the real customers who would still want to purchase your products and that will be the declining stage and uh, just a point to note it's uh, the saying all products i already talked about this all products don't go through the uh the same or do not go through the whole uh product life cycle and uh, when you are to look at the importance of the product life cycle you may look it you may look at it in a way that the product life cycle it helps in the product product production system whereby uh, the production manager must uh, link the different stages of the product life cycle so that so that he can influence how he's going to be like producing uh that is uh, maybe for example at maturity stage there will be massive production and uh with that we shall begin from there and we shall be looking at uh the product development thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel